Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. I'm your host, Sin Dragonlord, and we are here in week two of the Global Pokemon Society uh, Craft League Tournament. Uh, last week, we went against the uh, Florida for Alligators. This week, we're going against a, a friend of the channel, uh, Mr. Vlad the Man, otherwise known as the Chicago Slow Kings. Uh, so without any further ado, let's just get right into this. I am the Phoenix Primals. Let's get to the battle. Okay, let's take a look here. Ooh! Alright, so he completely bamboozled me. I was expecting the Chansey Skarmory bulky core, but he, uh, he done uh, bamboozled me. Uh, so we gotta deal with Probopass, Shiftery, Sableye, Nidoking, Swallow, and Blaziken. Now, if there's anything I know about the Sableye, if it's, um, if it's being paired with the Shift Tree, it means he's got Sunny Day on it and a Heat Rock. So, things to consider. The Sticky Web might actually be an important thing to get up. Um, as well as Stealth Rock 2 to break the Pro Passes 30. Um, so, go ahead and this. But yeah, no, I spent a lot of time preparing... Uh, doing a whole bunch of damage calcs and all of this other shit for the Skarmory and Chansey and for him just to not bring either one, so It got me Will it matter? Let's find out. Let's get this battle started All right, so he leads with the Sableye uh, So he's probably expecting my Shuckle lead, which is totally fine. I know he's gonna attempt to taunt me right now it's fine because I have the mental herb, so I think we're going to start off by getting up Stealth Rock. Yep, there's a taunt. Get the mental herb. And uh, he's probably going to go for a follow-up taunt. So we should go for a knock off. And after that, we'll probably... Ooh, it wasn't a heat rock. It was a lumbar. Okay, so... He probably got rid of the Heat Rock because I'm not weather oriented. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll switch it. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch into. Tragic. <laughs> the Wiggly Tub is burned. Tragic. <laughs> All right. So, let's see, the best thing he could probably use to switch into this would probably be the Nido King, right? And then fire off a Sludge Wave. Uh, and honestly, outside of Dustclops, I don't have anything that really wants to take that. Maybe the Shuckle? I could switch back into the Shuckle, but I don't know if Shuckle can take two Sludge Wave. I could check and do some damage calculations, but let me fire off an attack first, because either way. All right, uh, while that animation's going up, let me pull up the damage calculator. Oh, he actually went for the Blaziken. Interesting choice. And I think that Blaziken is choice scarfed, right? So, does Blaze can get U-turn? Doesn't look like it, so I think Latios is honestly the bitch here. Uh... Ah, it gets poisoned. 
Interesting. And he got the fucking poison. Shit. Okay. Um. So he's probably gonna want to switch. What's the best? It's a shell bell. It's not even choice scarf. Hmm. Interesting. Um. I think we'll just go for um, a T bolt. Because if he switches in the Proba Pass, uh, that'll be the best move to use. And Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure from this range, will take it out anyway. So yeah, we'll go Thunderbolt. If he switches in Nidoking, that might be a bit of a problem. Uh, especially if that Nidoking is like Choice Scarfed. Since we now see that the... Interesting choice. Let's see how much this Thunderbolt does. All right, so a recover is definitely coming. Because he knows that a Lazio Straco Meteor won't kill it. So we'll switch back into the Clefable. Yeah, that's fine. Yikes, though. He did not go for the recover. So I could have went for the fucking Draco. But he knew that. What a what a savage prediction! I'll, I'll give him that one. That was that was a good prediction. Um, I'll go for the wish here on the switch. Protect here, because I really don't want to switch Latios in here and take an attack. So we'll just have Wigglytuff get back to full HP. Oh, gets body press. That's just, that's fucking nuts. <laughs> that's insane. I'd say the best thing I have to switch into this would... Well, no, actually, it probably would have been uh, Dustclops. But let's see if we can't get the Sticky Webs up. Because the Sticky Webs will actually help me, too. Virtually nothing. Nice. And since the Sableye is not in, we're safe to go for a Sticky Web now. Unless this fucking Pearl Pass has Taunt too, which would be savage. Volt Switch. That's gonna do fucking nothing. So we've seen Body Press and Volt Switch so far. Um, it doesn't have leftovers. What, what, what does it have? Sure. Maybe a Chopley Berry? It could have a Chopley Berry for the fucking Metacham. Nothing's been KO'd yet. We have two statuses, though. 
We have something that's burned and we have something that's poison. Oh shit. Um I mean this blaze can can't really touch me, right? I mean both flare blitz and close combat are uh neutral. However, perhaps a wish pass into um uh, wish pass into suck shuckle later might be beneficial. Uh so we'll go ahead and knock off that shell though, just to get rid of that annoying ass recovery. Switch into uh, Dusclops. Flare Blitz. All right, so we'll get some recoil. Holy shit, that damage though! <laughs> Holy fuck! Okay, the um, we gotta make note of that. That the Blaziken took itself out to Flare Blitz, Recoil. That fucking... Oh, it was Blaze! Wasn't it Blaze range? Is that what that was? <laughs> oh my god, that power though. Alright. God damn, that was intense. Okay. Um... I think we just go for Wiggly Tough here. Ooh, ooh, that, that's a fucking problem. I don't, I don't know if, uh, let's see, what do you have left? You still have that Sableye in the back. Ugh. Can you survive a plus two energy ball? Alright, fuck it. Dazzling Gleam. Not. Okay. Uh, shift Tree. KOs. Wiggly Tough. Sun's not up. So And he still has the Proba Pass in the back. He also still has Sableye in the back too. I don't really have I can go for a choice specs flamethrower. That would probably take it out. And it's at minus one speed, too. Ooh, I should have taken that in into consideration. Either way. Either way. So, fucker punch that much. Okay. Manectric KOs. Shift tree. Okay. Now the switch to Latios is obvious. So he's probably gonna opt to not go for Earth Power. Probably gonna want to go for Ice Beam if I had to guess. Right? I just sack the dust clock. That the, the play.
Do I need the... Do I need the fucking... Manectric for anything else? No, I don't. That's I think we'll just sack it here. I'm faster, we can get off a strong ass fucking flamethrower. It just to damage the Nido King a little bit. That way we don't have to have anything else take a hit. That burn will come in handy. Not that it's gonna not that Yeah, okay. So it went for Sludge Wave rather than Earth Power. Because he was predicting the switch. So Yeah, the switch to Latios was super obvious. Um so let's see. Neo King's at minus one. Still have to deal with that save line back. Um, Alright, so the switch is obvious, right? He's either gonna go Sableye or he's gonna go um, Probo Pass. If I had to guess though, he's probably gonna go Probo Pass. But either way. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the Draco Meteor. If he goes Probo Pass, we'll switch into uh, Knuckle. Oh, he's not. He's just gonna let the Neo King die. Okay. So, Latios, KOs, Nido King. So he's down three. We have the Sableye, the Swellow, and the Blaziken left. No, 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 we don't have the Blaziken. We have the Swellow, we have the Sableye, and the Pro will pass left. Ooh. Unfortunately, yikes. Okay, that was actually a good move on his part. Uh, not gonna cap on that. Um, we're gonna switch. Uh, we're gonna switch. Yeah, the recover was the play, correct. He's gonna go for the taunt. Fortunately, yeah, I don't really have anything that wants to deal with this fucking save light, right? This is actually a bit of a problem. I was expecting taunt. I could have fired off a toxic and been in a really good fucking position. That'll end in three. I forgot to put Nido King KOs uh, Manectric. There we go. If he taunts me, he taunts me. Yeah. I really shouldn't went for Toxic turn one, because it wouldn't have changed the outcome of anything outside of that 50-50 that I could have gotten the poison off. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna sack the the shuffle here. I need to get as much damage on that table eye as humanly possible. All right. 
Chuckle dies to burn. Not unless Draco Meteor KOs. That crit mattered. So game one's gonna be a draw? How... how do we... Circumvent that. So who wins? How did I lose? Is it just because my Pokemon had less HP? That's fucking dumb. That's dumb as shit. Alright, so... Game one. Vlad. Two. So I have to play a lot more... I have to play a lot more intelligently. I think I kind of misplayed a, quite a bit game one that might have saved me. I think the same lead is okay. And I guess the result for game one is still fine, because if I didn't if I didn't get that crit, I had no chance of winning anyway. So I guess I guess either way, game one should have went to him regardless. But he's leading off with the Nido King. I don't think this Nido King can touch the Shuckle though. I think I can get off a couple of, of hazards before it's able to take me out. Which is fine, because that's all Shuckle's going to be doing. How much does Earth Power do? Alright, yeah, that doesn't... I'm not going to get too good KO, so I'll be able to get my hazards up. Which is the important thing. I'm pretty sure we can wall this thing with Dusclops. Or not! Good lord! Oh, fuck you, crit! Alright. So... I think we survive another non-crit. So then we'll just go for paint split afterward. Try to get some of that recovery back. Unless he crits me again. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, 
go for a Will-O-Wisp, just to get some passive damage on this thing. And... Let's see... I don't really need the dust clouds for anything, so I think we'll just fire off a nightshade. And we'll take the KO on the dust clops. Go ahead and we'll switch into Manectric. Fire off a flamethrower. And that'll KO the uh, Nido King. Nice. KOs Nido King. Be his go to now. Probably. Overpass. I should realistically. Scout for Earth Power. Because I saw Volt Switch. Uh, and I saw Body Press, right? Uh, both of which are resisted by Latio. So if he's bringing in Probo Pass, that probably means he has Earth Power. So let's scout for it. Do you have any other ground? No. Um. Uh. Nope. He just has the body press. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see, he's got... Let's just go... Oof, Thunderbolt. Because he doesn't have any ground... He doesn't have any ground types on the on the squad to be a... Holy shit, that's definitely especially bulky. Yeah, it's Thunder Wave. That's good to know. That's really, really handy to know. Um, so we've seen Thunder Wave, we've seen Body Press, we've seen Volt Switch. Uh, what the other one, the other move be Stealth Rock? Maybe? That Thunderbolt didn't do fucking anything. Um... So that leads me to believe he has zero fucking steel type moves on this thing. Or maybe he does. Because we don't... We... Wait. Iron Defense. That's his whole move set. Okay. So, he has no he has no steel moves on this thing. That's really, really good to know. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll fire off a Flamethrower. Hopefully, get a burn or something. Uh, no, but we did get a crit. Body press. Fuck! God damn that damage. Jesus. Alright, fucking chill, dude. God damn. Fucking iron defense, duh. That's why it did so much damage. Fucking hell. I should have fucking known that. Come on, Kevin. Get your head in the goddamn game. Alright, so this Probo Pass is going to very quickly become an issue. If I don't fucking do something about it.
So, Probo Pass KOs Latios. ahead and we'll Thunderbolt. We're faster. We'll KO the Probopass. Um, electric KOs. Probopass. Oh wait, no it doesn't. He's switching. He's sending out Rooster. Okay. So he's sacking the base again then? Okay. That's fine too. KOs Blaze Akin. So the Swellow is definitely going to be faster than Manectric, right? If I had to guess, this thing's going to use Protect to trigger the Flame Warp, right? Eh, either way. Thunderbolt. Oh no, he goes for U-turn. Okay. That's fine too. So maybe he does not have Protect then. So he's trying to whittle down Manectric before... To, where, to a range where Facade or Brave Bird could potentially KO. Alright, so he's sacking the... Probo Pass. Manectric KO's Probo Pass. So he's going to bring in Tree's Nuts. Um, now here's the thing with the Shift Tree, right? It's minus one speed. Does, does Choice Specs... Thunderbolt might actually two hit KO. But I'm not chancing. Unless. I think we have to chance it. I think we got a chance that Choice Specs will two hit KO. Paralysis. Very nice. He's going to try to go for Sucker Punch. Hopefully we get the para hacks. We don't. So he's going to take down Manectric. Uh, shift Tree. KOs. Manectric. Uh. All right, now we'll bring in Wigglytuff. 
get a wish off. I don't think a um I don't think a neutral energy bell will KO me. Oh, he's going for sucker punch. Okay, good to know. But even then, like Um I'll just go for Dazzling Gleam. Shut up phone. And then when he switches in his next mon. We'll have a pretty healthy fucking Wigglytuff. <laughs> Wiggly. Tough. AOs. Ship tree. I'm pretty sure a Dazzling Gleam will KO it from that range, yeah? Oh, definitely after recoil. Absolutely, it will. We'll just, uh, om nom nom on the berry. Nice! Wiggly. Tough. KOs. Swellow. And then his last mon is that Sableye, and Dazzling Gleam will take out the Sableye. Even if he goes for recover here, he'll be low enough to where Dazzling Gleam will still KO it. Yeah. Alright, so that was a 2-0, I believe. No, no, that was a 3-0. I had still had Wigglytuff. Um... I saw Wigglytuff, Medicham, and I had, uh... And, uh, I saw a Chuckle, too. Yeah, so that was a 3-0. <clears throat> okay... And he still has not seen the switcheroo on uh, on Manectric yet, so I could potentially cripple that Sableye, right? At some point, potentially. Uh, uh, same lead. I have no reason not to, right? Oh, he's actually going to leave Provo Pass this time, huh? Is he, is he trying to get a fucking Provo Pass sweep with fucking setting up Iron Defenses and going bo Body Press? Uh, maybe. Uh... Go Stealth Rock. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Okay. That's pretty fucking cheeky, Vlad. Pretty... Fucking cheeky. It's a good thing I have fucking sturdy. Knock off. That way we can break sturdy. 
Oh, you're getting greedy. You're getting hella fucking greedy. Expert belt. That's what that was. Alright, so he's got three iron defenses. Um... Hobo, pass, especially defensive, okay, go plus six defense, oh that doesn't, that doesn't fucking KO, even though it's, okay, alright we gotta do our best to whittle this thing, um, actually we'll switch into, uh, we'll swap into Poltergeist, because he cannot body press the, uh, yeah, he can't po uh, body press me at all. And we'll just fucking burn him. And we'll fire off some nightshades, and it'll be a good time. Whew. Okay, I think we've staved off that strat a little bit. We got off. We got off our hazards. We broke the sturdy, knocked off expert belt. Let's go ahead and fire off a, uh, let's go ahead and fire off a will-o'-wisp. And then if he still stays in, we can just fire off some nightshades to whittle it down. All right, cool. The strat has been averted. So maybe keep Dustclops alive for that fucking uh, probo pass. Um. <laughs> you cheeky fuck. Oh, you fucking bastard. Fuck! <laughs> I mean, too shay, man. Too fucking shay. Um, so I know that uh, I can't nightshade it. If on the off chance I'm able to survive a brave bird, which I might be able to, um, might being the operative word, right? If I'm able to survive. I'll paint split and I'll get that thing hella fucking low in health, right? He was expecting me to switch. Alright, well, whatever he brings in is getting paint split and I'll go right back up to full. Well, maybe not up to full, but I'll have a little bit more health, right? All right, so I think for this one, because the first flare blitz was when it was in fucking blaze range, which is why it did so much damage. So maybe we'll go ahead and aim split again. Oh, he's going for earthquake. Is he, is he baiting me to try to put him in blaze range? Is that the, is that the plan? All right, well, I'm not gonna play too defensively, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire off a nightshade, and if he goes for flare blitz, oh well, right? Alatios would've been a free ass switch though, but I think he knew, I, I don't think he thought I was gonna predict earthquake. Yeah, he's trying to prog me to go into blaze range. That's what he's trying to do. I'll eat my berry. Um. We'll go for another Nightshade, fuck it. He's probably gonna go for Flare Blitz now, right? Yeah. He's not in Blaze range, but this might still knock me out. Ooh! 
No, it did not. And Nightshade will knock it out. Let's fucking go. Let's absolutely go. Oh, wait. Maybe it won't. Oh, okay. Nope, it's still. I, I forgot about Shell Bell. Dusclops, KOs. Blaziken. Woo! All right, what's he bringing in? All right, he's bringing in the troll. Um. Yeah, we'll switch. We'll switch to Wigglytuff. Now, if I had to guess that this is going to be the point where he's probably going to want to switch into Nido King, right? Knock off. Yeah, it's fine. He's either going to switch. He'll probably want to switch after taunting me, if I had to guess. Wait. No. Why? What would be the point? Right. Dude, he's probably just going to want to switch. Um, no, fuck it. Dazzling Gleam. Either way, we're dealing some damage. Yeah, I could have fired off a, uh, a, fired off a wish there, but that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Uh, we got the Nido King now. And its speed is reduced by one stage. Um... I need to see what Nido King's speed is after a minus one. Uh, minus speed. Um, level 50. 137 at minus one. No, no, it's at 91. So my question then becomes, what's my speed, first of all? Grab summary. My speed is 65, so I still don't, I don't outspeed, but Sludge Wave is fucking obvious, but then again, he knows it's obvious. Um, we'll switch into Shuckle. It's a, it's safe. Because we know we can take three hits from this fucking thing, and we can knock off the Life Orb in the process, too, which will make its damage output a lot less. Oh, you did just go for the obvious Sludge Wave. Okay. Alright, well, we'll let's go for the knockoff. Goes for Earth Power. We'll knock off the Life Orb. Yep. Okay. Um, I can't Toxic it, right? Um. I think I just sacked the dust pops here. No, no, I, I need the dust pops alive. We'll uh, we'll sack the uh, we'll sack the shuckle here. We'll just continue knocking off, and then we'll get a free switch. Because if that pro pass comes in for fucking free. We can always fucking wish, right? We can always wish, and then we'll pass the wish on to dust clops when the pro pass is setting up, and then we're good to go. So yeah, we're just we're just gonna do that. That's fine. Alright, uh, so Nido King, KO's Shuckle. I should have calced that damage before I switched. Yeah, I'm not sure how much that does. Um, electric choice specs, uh, flamethrower. It's it's close. It's close. It may not KO. 
And if I did, if it doesn't KO, I'm in some trouble. Okay, it KOs. Cool. Whew. Yeah, I did 52 to 62 percent. So my neck trick KOs Nido King. In comes that swallow. That burn swallow. Um. I think the play is just to sack the, uh... Ugh. I'm not faster, I know that for a fact. Facade is easy to predict, but that doesn't really accomplish anything. Ooh. No, 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 I have a new, uh, new strat. <clears throat> new strat. So we're just gonna go ahead and sack the dusk, the, the dusk skull here. Or the dusk cloth, excuse me. Swallow, Chaos, Dust Skull, or Dust Clops. Why am I doing that again? I go for the Brave Bird. While we're doing that, I need to do a damage calc on Medicham. Uh, choice Scarf. Adamant. Uh, Sableye. Thunder Punch does about... Is it, is it almost a two... It's actually a two hit KO. But... But he can fire off a Will-O-Wisp for free. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Medicham. We're going to fire off a Thunderbolt. He's going to do one of two things. He's either going to go for the U-turn, or he's just going to hard switch into uh, Sableye, in which case uh, Thunder Punch will do a, a crap ton of damage. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the fucking Swallow's Choice Guard? Are you shitting me? Alright, that's... Too Shay. Too fucking Shay. Too fucking Shay. <laughs> Swellow... KOs itself. Ah uh, ha ha. You cheeky fuck. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. You with the And that's why he switched in the swallow on the Will-O-Wisp. You fucking savage. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Holy shit. All right. We're going to go ahead and dazzling gleam the Sableye. All right, he's gonna probably switch into Provo Pass, which is fine. Yeah, so we're gonna switch back into the Manectric, and we'll uh, go ahead and switch Aru its Punk Ass. That way, he can't use that Strat anymore. Solid. All right, Dazzling Gleam. And his only special move on that set is Volt Switch. So, by all means, use Volt Switch. Trigger my Lightning Rod. Switch through. Now he's choice locked into body press. Um, I 
Ooh. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna Volt Switch into Latios. And that'll force the switch. I'll fire off a Draco, and it'll be a fun time. I really wish I had recover on this thing, because I could just wall the shit for days. Um, that actually is a three hit KO, so he might actually want to stay in, so we'll go for Thunderbolt instead. We got the para. Uh, what does he have left? He has a shift tree, so I think we're actually okay. Uh, uh, Probo pass KOs. Uh, Latios. I'll have to fire off a flamethrower. That should, that should, in theory, take it out. It doesn't? <sighs> That's annoying. Wiggly tough. KOs. Probo pass. Left. Oh, that's not fucking good. Oh, that's not good at all. What's shift tree speed? That's one. 88 speed. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I think we lose, guys. I think we actually lose. Flamethrower. He's gonna go for Sucker Punch and win. Yeah. Okay. The so Vlad's got it. Uh... Alright, so here is my post-game analysis of the match between Mr. Vlad the Man and myself. Uh, it was actually a really good match. Uh, there was a couple of things I felt like I could have done differently that might have changed the outcome of the game. But ultimately... Um, at the end of the day, uh, he, he earned that. He 100% earned that. Um, so, like I said, in game one, that crit Draco Meteor should, uh, would not have impacted the, uh, would not have impacted Vlad not winning the game, uh, because his remaining Pokemon had more health than my remaining did. Um, so the two, the, at the end of time, we both had two remaining, but his HP bar was higher, which is why he got the win. And the Crit Draco Meteor, the only thing that it did was it cost him some differential points, and it prevented me from losing more differential points. So it worked out in my favor, but it kind of screwed him over a little bit. Uh, game two, um, 
uh, game two, it's just... I, th I think Vlad said he misplayed at some point, or misclicked or something. I think it was a misplay. And it was just... he was. I was just able to steamroll the game from that, and I got that 3-0. Then in game three, in game three, uh, well, you saw the result of how that went. He played really fucking well. Um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, what turned the tide in our favor, uh, both games, was the surprise factor, right? Because for one thing, I was not expecting him to not bring Skarmory and Chansey, um, which I basically was considering the biggest threats on his squad. Uh, so I was performing all my damage calculations for those two, because I figured if I got rid of that defensive core, that the rest would be, you know, not 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 necessarily a smooth sailing, but it would be easier to deal with, right? Um, um, but so that was the first surprise that he didn't bring either one of them. Uh, the second thing was I knew that he would at least bring Sableye. So rather than having the leftovers on my shuckle, I replaced it with a mental herb. That way. When he went to taunt me um, in game one, it wouldn't. Um, I would still get my hazards up, whichever one I deemed the most useful at that point in time, right? So when he saw that game one, as you noticed, he did not lead Sableye game two or three because he knew it was pointless, right? He led with Nido King and Provo Pass the next two games. Um, but then the, the game winning surprise, which is what stole the game from completely, was obviously the fact that. That fucking um, Swellow was not Flame War, but it was actually Choice Scarfed. And he played that super fucking well. Like, he saw, oh, he switched into Dusclops. He's probably going to go for Will-O-Wisp. I'll switch into uh, Swellow. Um, and at that point, there was no point at any point during the match prior where Flame War would have triggered. So I had no idea that he wasn't Flame War. So I triggered his guts on top of giving him a Scarf. So that was very well played on his part. And the fact that I didn't see the Scarf coming, which is how he was able to get rid of my Medicham, because if it wasn't for that, Medicham would have likely swept the rest of his team. Um, so yeah, well played on his part. It was a gr fantastic fucking match. Um, after the differentials, I think I'm still ahead of him in points by one point. But alas, it was a fantastic match. Uh, I don't have any regrets. Uh, good luck to Mr. Vlad the Man. He's currently undefeated. Uh, keep it going, and uh, I'll keep it going as well. Hopefully, he'll be my only loss. Uh, thank you for watching, and keep tuned or stay tuned for more Pokemon Global Society Draft League tournament uh, content. Peace out, guys.